Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video showing you how to manually install the Android 4.3 update on your Sprint Galaxy S4. After the update's installed, they'll also talk about some changes, go over uh, some changes to 4.3 from 4.2.2. There aren't many, so I'm not doing a separate video of, of a review, so if you're waiting for a review, that will be at the end of this video. All right, so to show you guys on my Sprint S4, I am on Android 4.2.2 at the moment, MF9, which is the previous build. So you'll see Android version 4.2.2. Uh, this will update you to 4.3, and it is called MJA. So MF9 was 4.2.2, MJA is 4.3. First thing you need to do is go ahead and download a update zip file. I will link to it in the description where you can get that download from. Once you download it, transfer it to, over to an external SD card on your device so you have to have a micro SD card to manually update otherwise you're just gonna have to wait for the over-the-air update to get pushed just go to system update update Samsung software and eventually it'll come it's not even uh, getting pushed to my device yet which is why I'm doing a manually install video so once you have that uh, file downloaded and transferred over to your micro SD card all we have to do is go ahead and get into stock recovery and install it if you are rooted and have a custom recovery then you should just wait for a ROM to be posted, a stock rooted ROM. But if you're rooted with stock recovery, then I believe your update does kill root access. So keep that in mind. But anyways, as I said, once you have that update zip file, just go ahead and power off your device. While it's powering off, I want to make a note that if you do plan to root in the future, you might want to do so before you install the update. Just because there is a uh, Nox that does get installed with 4.3, so um, if you install after you install 4.3, you might trigger the Nox flag, which could void your warranty. So just kind of keep that in mind if you are looking to root your device before you install Android 4.3. So, anyways, once it's powered off, press and hold volume up, home button, and power button all at the same time. Press and hold all three of them. You'll see a little uh, blue lettering in the upper left hand corner. Just go ahead and let go once that pops up. And this should take us into stock recovery. I have stock recovery at the moment. You'll see it'll uh, bring this Android guy up and then it'll load it on up. If it doesn't load up, just press the volume keys on the side. But anyways, let's go ahead and zoom in on our stock recovery here. Let me focus, sorry about that. Uh, anyways, so you'll see uh, with stock recovery, you have a bunch of different options to navigate through these options. You use volume up and down and the power button to select. So go ahead and navigate down to apply update from external storage, which is the second one down. Press the power button. It'll go ahead and look through for zip files on your micro SD card. And then the one you downloaded was that one with a lot of letters and numbers. Uh, you'll see MF9 to MJA zip file. Select that zip file that we just transferred over. And then it's going to go ahead and find uh, that zip file and install the update manually for us. Um, once we are done selecting that zip file, that's just about it. The zip file is going to take a long time to install as the update zip was very large. Uh, so as I said, it's going to take a bit of time to install. So I'm going to let it run through, do its thing, and I'll be back once it is closer to being finished. All right, as you can see, it is running through. You'll see a progress bar here letting you know how uh, close it is to finishing. Looks like it's running through the final steps, and hopefully once it's done, it will automatically reboot your device. So there we go. Install from SD card complete, applying update complete, rebooting. So now it's going to automatically reboot your S4. Uh, this boot up will probably take longer than usual, so just kind of be patient with it. Depending on how many apps you have installed, my guess is cache was wiped, so it's going to have to run through uh, all the app verification settings, etc. So uh, once this boots up, I'll show you guys I'm on 4.3 and give you a quick rundown of it. All right, so here we go, Android update successful. My device has now booted back up and it is ready to go. So I'll show you now that we are on 4.3. Go ahead and go into settings, more, scroll down, about device, and you'll see Android version is now 4.3. Uh, you also notice uh, your baseband was updated and your software version was updated to MJA, last three digits. So there we have it. So. Um, we are now on 4.3. As I said, it's a very minor update from 4.2.2 to 4.3. Nothing too special in regards to TouchWiz. Hopefully the UI is a little bit smoother. 
I really haven't noticed anything visually. I tried to look through it a bit, but uh, nothing too much visually. One thing I did notice was the um, calculator gets rid of the status bar, which I do not think happened on 4.2.2. So, but you can just quickly swipe down to access it. Just kind of wanted to make a note of that. Um, I believe it's a, a it's on purpose because on my Note 3, which does have Android 4.3 as well, once you open the calculator, your uh, notification bar goes away. A little interesting that they use a different style on the two devices. Um, just kind of want to point that out real quick. So that's just your calculator, nothing too big there. As a side note, with the 4.3 update, uh, your device is now compatible with the Samsung Galaxy Gear. So if you have one of those smart watches, uh, your device is now compatible. Also, it is uh, Knox compatible, so that enterprise security um, it could be on your phone, so if you're looking to root your device, be sure you uh, research Knox uh, security. Uh, there's also some wi advanced Wi-Fi settings that have been changed a little bit. I'm just going to go to advanced, and you'll notice um, always allow scanning and auto, auto network switch have been added to those Wi-Fi settings. But also, there are 4.3 updates. I have a separate video talking about all of the updates, uh, the change log of 4.3. I'll just link to that in the description if you want to know more. Overall, though, uh, Samsung-wise, not too much has changed. Just wanted to fill you guys in on that. Didn't want to do a separate video, but uh, now you have 4.3 on your uh, Galaxy S4. Of course, Android 4.4 is probably coming soon. Don't know how long it's going to take for Samsung to update their device, uh, the S4, to that, but we'll see. But uh, hopefully this video has helped you out. Uh, if you give it a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. You could also subscribe to me. That'd be great. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.